What's going on everybody? It's your boy Spencer and like I said today I am doing the deck profile for Salmon Great. Uh, before I get into it I just want to say that Kevin and I just did an Anime Monday so be sure to check that, check that out on the channel. It was about Evangelion, Neon Genesis and the movie and just kind of the series overall. It's really good, nice condensed like 23 minute episode and I always forget to mention this but we also have it on the podcasting stuff so if you guys want to listen to one of the anime mondays on the go like on your way to work just look up blue milk boys and it'll be like on all of your podcasting platforms but let's get right into it and uh first thing i'll say is that there's so many flex spots in this deck that i think this is just kind of a shell for you guys i don't think these are like perfect i think a lot of the ratios are but as i go through it i'll tell you, you know you can put this with something else if you want to anyways three nibiru i think everybody's running out of three at this point uh three ash blossom one Raigeki and Harpy's Feather Duster. Raigeki is obviously a little more abnormal than, we're, than most people are used to. I still think it's pretty good. Uh, the three Droll and Lockbird. It's a very good hand trap. But, you know, this can be the ghost one that negates graveyard effects. It's not a bad call at all. I just know this is like game ending to a lot of people. So that's why I have it in the main. Three Parallel at Exceed. It's a really good card that I can't believe kind of just falls under the radar a lot. It's very good in this deck. Uh, the two Jaguar. It's a decent play starter. You're really only running it two because you don't want a uh, lower chance to banish all of your copies with Pot of Desires. Uh, three Lady Debug is probably the best starter. It searches Gazelle. And uh, three Flame Buffalo. It's, good. it's an amazing play starter being able to send, because these need to go in the graveyard, or Spinny can send itself, but you know, it's a good discard fodder to draw too, because they can just come back from the graveyard. And Foxy at two as well. Excavates three cards. You can grab a Salamagate card if you grab one. Uh, the three Pot of Desires. I've actually thought about running this at two because I, you know, when you draw it off a Pot of Desires, it's kind of the worst feeling in the world. But it's okay. I mean, it does help the consistency overall, obviously. Three Synap Mining. Searches all your place, all eleven of your play starters, if not more. Uh, one Salmon Great Circle. It says two, but this is an OCG list that I think it just got put to two. Uh, three Will and the Salmon Great. This is another one of those flex spots where uh, most people run it at two. I think it's actually a really good extender, so I want to see it as much as possible. And it's also uh, once per turn, so if it stays on the field, you get to use that revive effect again. Uh, the one Salmon Great Sanctuary. You know, if you draw it, it's honestly not the end of the world. Uh, the one Rage and the one Roar they can constantly be recycled, and they can be sent to the graveyard with Gazelle, and Gazelle's extremely accessible as well. Let's go on to the extra deck. I have the number 41 Baguska, the Abyss Dweller. Uh, I run Topologic Zeroboros and a Nightmare Unicorn. I'll just say that now because I only run Wolf and Bay Lynx at two. So I think that's a fine ratio. The only thing I would say, yeah, maybe you want Sunlight Wolf at a three. Most people do. So you can take out either one of these if you feel like they're useless. I like Unicorn because it's good to shuffle something back into the deck on top of uh, being able to pitch something like a Jaguar to the graveyard. And uh, that's, I mean, will the Salmon Great, since I have it at three, I might as well run something like Topologic Zeroboros, you know, which could be game winning for you depending on the matchup. The one Firewall Dragon, which is coming off the ban list soon, which will probably not be accessible to the masses for a long time until they actually give it a good reprint. And even then, I think it'll be expensive. Uh, but if you can get your hands on the Ghost Rare, that would be sick. The one Access Code Talker, it is your win condition. Uh, Trans Code Talker, one of the best extenders in the extra deck in the game. A lot of just really underrated cards in this deck. Like I said, Nightmare Unicorn. Splash Mage, Splash Summon the Cybers. It's like a one card excess code talker, essentially. Update Jammer helps bring two attacks. Two Sunlight Wolf, two Bay Lynx, and two Heat Leo to get rid of spells and traps from the extra deck, which is sick. Uh, the side is pretty generic, but I think, you know, essentially standard as well. One Lancia. Three, or no, one Lancia, three Lancia, three Lightning Storm, three Dark Ruler No More, uh, three Cosmic Cyclone, and three Evenly Match. Pretty blanketed stuff. I would say good against 99% of the matchups that you will be going up against. And uh, as a bonus, I'll play a couple of replays. This is a match I had uh, with Trap Tricks. I think I go second each time. I just want to show you that you're able to work through a little bit of disruption and uh, some of the power behind it as well. Uh, unfortunate for him to have drawn the double or nothing. I've been there uh, many of times. Uh, so he has a call by the grave. He has this trap hole, and he has a storming mirror force. I got a bit of a little bit of work to do for sure. And he's probably and going to pop my sanctuary as well. But going second sanctuary just quite honestly is not important at all. 
it's more of just to bait him out if anything i i try to ash the uh, sarah search he goes ahead and negates that which honestly is not it's just kind of cool i'm looking in this on this turn anyways Splash May can bring back Jaguar. Transcode can bring back the Link 2. Then I can go. So I'm not going to be able to have two attacks with access, access Code Talker, unfortunately. Uh, but I am going to demolish the rest of his board out here. I leave myself room for one more uh, thing to pop from the graveyard for next turn when he does start setting those spells and traps. He surrenders off of because all he would have had was the uh, Trap Tricks, Sarah, which would have been nothing. So there we go. It's pretty decent disruption to go through. Let's see if I can do it again. I think this board may be worse, although it has that Nibiru in a hand, and I'm sure I'm going to be summoning a bunch of times. I mean, Nibiru is just a killer for this deck, no matter if it was at full power or not. It's kind of just the end of it. Very satisfied, right? I have the Salomon Great Circle, and I, you know, I, I, mean, I guess in hindsight it would have been nice, but he has the Adrol and Lockbird. He's got the Nib. He's got the Trap Hole. That's going to go ahead and come down soon here well, after I try to activate the effect of his L. Which is kind of funny to me. Uh, if he is going to go for Nibiru, then I think you might be, probably want to even save that for next turn since it's going to stop my turn in, in its tracks. He, he lets me go very far, so smart of him to uh, get rid of my one transcode in, in the extra deck. Top deck's a Trap Tricks, which I don't think he could have asked for anything more than that. It's technically a play starter. It's going to deal 3,000 damage, so it's coming down to it a little bit here. I have the Jaguar, I have the Parallax Seed, so it, even if he negates this Gazelle, I'm kind of asking him to do that in the first place, you know. Jaguar can special summon itself back. Now I can go into Sunlight Wolf, that will trigger the Parallax Seed, which triggers the Sunlight Wolf, which I can add back in Ash Blossom. I didn't even know that until today. I guess it's any fire monster, so the recursion is just really good. I have a neons play, uh, a new ones play, I should say. Could have gone into Zero Boros, but uh, I do have two attacks for access code talker with I think four pops, which is more than I need, and that was going to be the end of the game. Swing. This is how like all of your games will end, but you don't care because you just win all the time. Uh, so that's going to do it for today's deck profile. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Other than that, that's going to do it for today's video, and I'll see you guys next time.